NXT as before the show, we kick off with the chairman of Universe Mode, the game Triple H, as the Cerebral Assassin is here to lay down the law. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn is one episode away. And it is time for someone to step up and determine what's gonna happen. Triple H making it clear that he wants to implement something. As he is a, making a very rare appearance down in NXT. The GM, Mr. Samuel, nowhere to be seen tonight. Still recovering. season. Triple H making it clear to the world. That he's got something to say, and whenever the chairman shows up, whenever it's time to play the game, you know, something's about to happen. As the outlaw has arrived in the developmental grounds of Universe Mode. The former world champion. is here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT. I am your chairman, Triple H, and it is my job to deliver the best product in universe mode and that's what I intend to do see there's been some controversy as of late with the golden sins possessing almost all the gold as they prepare for NXT takeover and in light of my general manager of NXT Mr. Samuel who last time Everyone saw him was laid out by Sante and the rest of the Golden Sins. I'm going to make the decision to call them out right now to face me in this ring so I can address them and what they're going to do at TakeOver. Now... Get your butts in the ring now. Gentlemen, Triple H has called this man out along with the rest of his faction. But here is the jewel of NXT. The leader of the Golden Sins. The undisputed future of NXT and Universe Mode in the making. The leader of the Golden Sin, Sante Guerrero. Mr. Money in the Bank of NXT. He holds the contract that guarantees him a title match for the NXT Championship anytime, anywhere. Four, Hold on, wait. Three. Hey, uh, when y'all yeah. get in the ring, I want y'all get in before me. Hold on, wait. Kid go first, then Troy go. When he says it. All right, three, two, one, go. Well, well, well. So glad to step in the ring with my absolute future of my company. Ladies and gentlemen, the jewel of NXT, Sante. And of course, his tag team champions, Ace and Bruce Bennett, respectfully. Now, I do see that your UK champion and North American champion, Alex Carter, is absent from this ring yet again, but that's okay. Now I'm going to make this clear to you, Sante. There is none of this games that you'll play like you did to Mr. Samuel. You put your hands on me tonight. You can kiss that briefcase goodbye. If either of you put your hands on me, you're fired. 
and your tag team titles can quickly go back to the War Raiders. All your hard work can quickly dissolve. So bear that in mind when you're speaking to the chairman of the WWE. Listen, listen, listen. Chill. Nobody wants to touch your old dusty ass. We're just here to talk, like you said. So hurry up and get to the point. My point is this. You made it clear that you want NXT as your stomping grounds. And it's quickly turned in to your playground instead. You own everything. Now, Mr. Samuel made you deals with the Undisputed Era that should be given these things. So, so far, from what I've seen, you've done nothing. We weren't given anything. We had to fight for what we were gifted. We were gifted opportunities. Gifted? The only reason why you have those opportunities is because I allowed it to happen. You bear that in mind. Because you're, as far as I'm concerned, you're not the man of NXT yet. Well, now, where's the I NXT championship? Anybody. I can't beat on this roster. Didn't you just lose to, didn't you lose to Ricochet? Didn't you just lose on a house show to the team that it supposedly couldn't hold it, couldn't hack it against these two, your champions? It's clear to me that next gen, Put you and Alex Carter in all the right, dirt. All right, all right. Whoa. The reason whoa, I even lost whoa, that whoa. match. Go ahead, Listen. Go Listen. Yeah, we lost at the live event. That's fine. But we weren't rested. We weren't ready for that match because we weren't supposed to be booked. You let us know last minute that we were fighting, and that's why we lost. We weren't even prepared. So how about you, exactly. Thank you. get up out of our ring... Because we own this ring. You get up out of our ring and then you actually learn how to treat your talent. Because you're talking to the tag team champions. You're talking to the most dominant group in NXT. Most dominant. Spoken. Most dominant. I like that. I like that you already are putting monikers on yourself. Like the commentators already dubbed you, Sante, the crown. The undisputed jewel of NXT. You've done nothing to prove to me that you're worth a diamond. Because if you are so set on becoming a diamond of NXT, the jewel, then I'm going to put some pressure on Cole. Because you'll either crystallize into that diamond that you think you are, or you'll crumble to dust and be worthless. Because you, sir, are so confident just because you walked out with the Money in the Bank briefcase that you are this universe mode. I'll tell you, guys who've come in before, guys who've held those tag team titles, the originals, Matt King, Mr. Sam, guys like fuck. Yuri, I you shut care. your mouth when you're no, talking to me. No, shut up. Shut your old ass up. See, when I speak in this ring, you listen to me. I put the pressure on you. You don't put pressure on me. I don't care about Matt King, Cole Lee, Davis King. I care about none of those guys at all. They have nothing on me. The Bullet Club has nothing on us. The Undisputed Era clearly has nothing on us. Next Gen beat us by a fluke because Alex Carter wasn't rested. You had him defend his titles. That's the only reason I lost that match. As I recall, you only fought one match to take over. Now, since you brought up two matches, I like the idea. Congratulations, Sante. You just gave me a brilliant idea. Because I'll handle the booking for this takeover. Because you just let that slip. How about he does defend his two championships at takeover next episode? in two separate matches. He'll be the Iron Man. Let's put it to the test. I want to push this faction to its limit on how dominant it is. And then we can get to the next phase if you survive it. Now, 
Alex Carter will defend his United Kingdom Championship and his North American Championship. As far as you go, since your arrogance has gotten in the best of you, you will defend your briefcase at TakeOver. Since you think that you're so dominant, it will be against the man that scored the pinfall on you at the house show from Next Gen, the underrated Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on, go back. No. Why? First off, why am I defending my briefcase? I'm clearly the top talent around. I mean, we, we are the top talent around, all of us, together. Second of all, he's a jobber. J-O-B-B-E-R, jobber. I am the NXT Mr. Money in the Bank. I've beaten Ricochet, Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate, EC3. I almost beat Cole Lee. What makes you think that that man's gonna give me any type of challenge? He certainly gave you a challenge the house show when he pinned you one, two, three. Oh my God. Lightning strikes once. I doubt it's gonna happen again. <laughs> he got lucky. He had a partner. One on one, he can't hold the candle to me. Well, if you're so confident, why are you so resistant to the match? Because I don't want to waste the fans' time with a bogus-ass match like that that only that only an idiot, only an idiot can book. Why not book me in a real match? It might as well just take me up to the main roster. Let me fight Scott Cole. Let me fight Samuel Armstrong. Somebody, somebody else that'll give me a challenge. Kevin Draco, Matt King, anybody. You really want to step into the big leagues. Let me make this clear to you. You guys may run NXT, but it's the minor leagues compared to those men. You really want to step into the ring with the most sadistic monster, Mr. Samuel. You'd rather step into the ring with Scott Cole, who would eviscerate you if he decided to look your direction. He'd eviscerate me? Well, how about you book the match and prove it to me? <laughs> and prove it to the fans. Because clearly, they don't think so. Then how about you beat Christian Bane and prove to me that you can beat a big man? Because you've yet to face a big man yet. Or do you have a problem no, fine. with how I run NXT? Fine. Fine. I'll do your shitty ass match. Get it over with. But soon enough, you're gonna understand you're just wasting my time and the whole NXT Universe's time with these matches. Speaking of next gen, I like giving opportunities. As far as Ace and Bruce go, I like this. You guys are fired up. You're the champions. You think you run this tag team division now. That you survive three teams at once. You survive the new Divine, Next Gen, and the War Raiders. Congratulations. And you know what? Tell you what. I'll give you all the night off tonight. You guys can rest and enjoy. Because I'll give you all a gift. You can watch all three teams from your previous takeover clash tonight. And the winners of that said match will get to face both of you at Brooklyn. I, <laughs> you see, this is the problem. You just said the three teams we beat, correct? I did. We beat them already. Why waste our time and face someone else that we already beat? Give us new competition. <laughs> we don't want to handle with these losers anymore. I don't know if you've been sitting in your office all day talking to your wife, but we're out here being over. There's no tag team that can touch me and Bruce. Well, if you're At so all. confident. You know, a fatal four-way tag team match is competitive. A lot of chaos. But let's isolate that down to two teams. The champions and challengers. 
a head-to-head -head brawl, a head-to-head -head war. And let's brawl find war. out it's if all you the can. Same thing. It's all the same. You keep surrounding us with people that just aren't on our level. Maybe if you would get some new talent, maybe we wouldn't have all the titles. Sante, Sante, all the Sante. Treasures. Don't even waste your breath. <laughs> this guy just doesn't understand that we're too high caliber. Oh, are you? Well, see, you all aren't sweating your opponents. What you should be worried about if you were a real faction was care about the one man in your faction who isn't here. Alex Carter. You should be worried about how he's going to survive because just because he's now a dual wielding champion means nothing. Now I will secretly choose his opponents and you will watch as he bleeds in Brooklyn, pours his blood, sweat, tears, and passion and proves to you why he's the veteran or maybe he's just a veteran at failing. Now. As far as he goes, he will not only defend his title titles in two matches in Brooklyn, he will also defend his United Kingdom title tonight. He will fight three matches in two episodes. What? I don't care what you say. It will be the main event tonight. And if you have a problem with that, well then prove me wrong and beat them all to become truly the best tag the best how about i prove them all wrong and beat you <laughs> it's a nice briefcase it'd be a shame if i took it from you yeah sante 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 chill. just chill out man we got this now just know that we warned you you did now Keep in mind, if you do make it past this challenge, this gauntlet I have for your faction at TakeOver Brooklyn, well, I'll use one of my old catchphrases. You'll either adapt or perish because there's always a plan B. Right now, the pressure's on. Afterwards, let's see if your faction will either crystallize into the diamond or fracture and splinter because I guarantee I will find the weak link to this faction and I will exploit it from the inside out now you can either sit here and wait for the next match to come up or you can go into the locker room and check on your partner who's going to defend his title tonight that will be all. And if you have a problem with that, you know where to find me. <laughs> and if you want new competition, oh, don't worry. You're just playing in the Little Leagues right now, and you have yet to swing for the fences. Well. Suck my dick. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Treble H has made the message clear as the game leaves the arena. He has sent the word that the Golden Sins will put everything on the line in the next two episodes. Thank you all so much for listening to the promo. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you choose. And as always, pseudo Matt Army, I will see you all on NXT.